Hey everybody, it's Tyler here for fun, checking out team number 323V Gears. Uh, they have an awesome robot you definitely got to be checking out here. Uh, this is their second signature event they've been at, and second event with this iteration of a robot as well too that we'll be showcasing. The last event they were just at absolutely swept away the competition, so definitely a team to look out here at Haunted as well. Take a look at what 323V has to offer. I love the uh, intake it goes through. We'll be talking about some of this material as well as the transfer systems into their elevation and also some cool things going on with their catapult. Let's learn more about 323's V coming up on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Reed, let's start off on your robot, one of the big show pieces, that catapult that you're doing. So talk to me about uh, not only what you're doing, but some of the functionality behind it as well. Yeah, so our catapult has two different functions. We can Our first function is we can intake it into the catapult and that will launch at a higher angle. And that's if there's a blocker in front of us or if we're just trying to fire them to the other side of the match field so our partner can push them in. Then the other way we can um, use our catapult is we can set on top here, and this is for match loading, um, where our catapult will punch this off and we can do it really fast at 100 um, loads per minute um, so we can get all those match loads to the other side so that we can score a whole lot of points and that's been really effective. Now you mentioned 100 match loads per minute when you were looking at approaching uh, the game in here did you come up with that ahead of time like hey we want to be able to go this fast when we're uh, coming off the human loads? So it really comes down to the how strong the motors are and we have a 100 rpm motor so it's really easy to do that gearing yeah. um, as well as if we went any faster the motor might struggle to do it and then it really wouldn't be as efficient as the 100 rpm so we found that that's really like the sweet spot um, we we had one that was uh, it was a little bit slower for our first robot i don't remember the exact um gearing but we found that this was kind of the sweet spot of uh, match loading talk to me about the uh tension that you're using on here too uh, how did you come up with using these specific types of bands and like how much tension is going into it yeah so these are the, we like these bands a lot they're um, really strong and we found that we don't really need a whole lot um, this is a typical um, catapult rubber banding um, I, don't, I don't remember exact um, what it's called but it works it it's really easy to put switch the rubber bands on and off um, as opposed to um, rubber banding it like on the the back here um, so we, we found that that was just the easiest way to do it and switch the rubber bands out. As we keep moving on this robot, we got to talk about the uh, intake that you're doing. Uh, Jacob, you're going to be covering more about that. Uh, I love to just hear uh, the overall concept behind this. And then uh, with the material choice, too, I know that you switched materials a couple times. Tell me more about that. So, yeah, to talk a little bit about the intake, we have a very fast intake, and it is a rubber band roller covered in mesh. So it has a lot of grip when intaking the tri-balls. And we are able to intake the tri-balls right into the catapult. And... Also, if we want to, we're, we can hold the tri ball in our intake, so then we can drive around the field and easily push it into the goal. When you're looking at uh, like how quickly you want to do your, uh, your intake and that sort of thing, what made you come up with this sort of like width for it and the overall design for it? So we have a, we have, it's powered by one motor and it's 600 RPM, and that's a good speed for an intake because it's, it's plenty fast to be able to intake the tri balls. Uh, Jason, not only do I love the theming that you have in your robot, but I really love the wings and the theming that come with it as well, too. So talk to me more about uh, how your wings are operating on your robot, and let's showcase those off a little bit. Yeah, so we have two wings, and they just push the tri-balls very effectively. Um, and one unique thing about them is that they lock open for maximum strength. So that means like no matter how much air we have in our robot, they have the same strength and they stay open. Can we see that uh, demonstrate on the robot so we can check that out? Yeah. So on here, um, these are essentially locking in really well, so you can't, so they can't be pushed back on. Is that correct? Yes. Cool. When uh, from the wings on there, you know, we're, we're obviously the meta of the game has been evolving, we're starting to see more teams do that. When did your team come up with wanting to do wings on their robot? Uh, we've had we've had wings from the beginning of the season. We thought that would be a really effective. Um, thing to have in a robot. We originally had our wings on the back and we found that that wasn't super effective. But these kind of locking wings, um, we were the first team um, to see that kind of locking um, mechanism. We had this um, a couple months ago, so 
um, it's worked really well for us. Yeah. As we start to wrap up on this robot, uh, Nathan, let's talk about the Elevation Mech, uh, what your team is looking at doing for it, and the efficiency behind it. Certainly. So we've designed an Elevation Mac Mech that is able to grab onto the low elevation bar and achieve B tier. So our first robot, what we did was we just balanced on the low barrier using our wings, and that would get us A tier, but we noticed more and more teams were starting to push towards B and C, and so in order to get those higher points, we switched to a, a hanging mech that could grab onto B tier. So. The, the elevation just works where these lift up, there's the bar that comes under here, and then it just clamps back down on top of that, and that lifts it up to the right height. Uh, I just love how efficient that, that system has gone through on it, and I can't wait to see it compete here on the field as well, too. So 323V Gears, uh, good luck, of course, here at this event. Uh, congratulations on your success so far. We know you're going to do well here, too, so can't wait to see it on the field, and thanks for watching this interview here on FUN. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.